Have you ever felt that quantum mechanics is just some bizarre, complicated theory? You might wonder, that has nothing to do with my daily life. But in reality, quantum mechanics is working right now, even as you breathe. It's like deciding between spicy or fried chicken, something so routine that you don't even realize it's there. Some people think it's just fanciful speculation by physicists, but the truth is that we've never escaped the realm of quantum mechanics, not even for a single second. Take a look at the chair you're sitting on. You might think you're firmly on it, but at the atomic level, your body and the chair aren't truly touching. There's a tiny space between the atoms, and quantum mechanics explains why they don't collapse into each other. So if quantum mechanics is everywhere, why does it feel unfamiliar? It's because we mostly experience large objects, the realm of classical mechanics. Is it really impossible to understand quantum mechanics? Famous physicists have remarked, if quantum mechanics doesn't shock you, you haven't understood it. Another said, nobody truly understands quantum mechanics. Sounds discouraging, right? But here, understanding refers to using classical logic to interpret quantum phenomena. That's like trying to understand Spanish using only English grammar. No wonder it feels confusing. Yet this doesn't mean we can't understand quantum mechanics at all. If you learn the vocabulary and grammar of quantum theory, you can solve complex equations and even score 100 on an exam. Some students will say, I get it perfectly, while others protest, I still have no idea. It all depends on whether you're judging it from a classical or a quantum viewpoint. If we can't see the quantum world, does it really exist? We see cars, fridges, smartphones and chicken drumsticks, huge collections of atoms. Quantum mechanics deals with tiny particles like electrons and atomic nuclei, invisible to the naked eye. Naturally, it feels distant, but these tiny particles govern the technology all around us. Semiconductors rely on electron behavior. Our phones, computers, and even advanced electric car batteries function thanks to quantum rules. You may have heard about quantum computers. Some claim they'll revolutionize stock market predictions. Because quantum principles enable massive parallel computations, it could solve problems regular computers can't even approach. While we still have hurdles to clear, we're gradually stepping into that quantum realm. Electron, wave or particle, what are you really? One classic demonstration is the double slit experiment. Shoot electrons one by one at a barrier with two slits, and they create an interference pattern just like waves do. Each electron lands as a tiny dot, but collectively they form wave-like stripes. So are electrons particles or waves? Quantum mechanics says they can exhibit properties of both. When we measure, observe which slit an electron passes through, the interference disappears. Without measurement, we see wave-like patterns. This dual nature is precisely what makes quantum mechanics so intriguing and mind-boggling. What's in that empty space between the nucleus and the electron? At everyday scales, objects appear solid. But on the atomic level, there's a lot of empty space. For example, if the atomic nucleus were the size of the sun, the single electron in a hydrogen atom would orbit farther than Pluto many times over. That's how much empty space an atom contains. In the movie Ant-Man, they toy with the idea of shrinking that space so someone can become tiny. But physically speaking, you'd have to magnify the electric forces by millions of times, which would basically break the universe as we know it. Quantum mechanics explains why you don't fall through your chair. Electrons classified as fermions strongly resist sharing the same quantum state. In other words, the electrons in your body and the chair repel each other at a very fundamental level. Without this no double occupancy rule, you'd slip right through the chair and we'd live in a chaos where all matter passes through everything else. Thankfully, quantum mechanics keeps our world in stable order. How will quantum mechanics shape our future? Quantum mechanics is already at the heart of semiconductors, lasers, quantum cryptography, and soon, quantum computing. Imagine how it might blend with AI. Quantum machine learning could solve huge data problems in a flash. That sparks big questions. How far can our understanding of these laws go? Could quantum computers transform our economy? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Maybe you have a brilliant idea on harnessing quantum effects. If you have more questions, like whether quantum computing is worth investing in, or if smartphone performance can skyrocket with quantum principles, drop them in the comments. If it's a hot topic, we'll tackle it in a future video. You might not leave here proclaiming, but hopefully you realize it's more relevant to your life than you ever imagined. Thanks for watching. Knowledge is power. Subscribe channel and click like. That makes you smart.